You ain't gonna lie, I got a great voice. Don't deny the fact that I got a great voice. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. So this brother here, um, if you guys don't know who the Sentry is, he's basically Superman in the MCU. All right. So, um, can you imagine that they that Marvel even thought about casting this dude to play the Sentry? Like, can you imagine? You know, when I talk, man, I want y'all to just see for yourself, man. Wait, what? Why are they showing us this nigga? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, this is the Sentry. And this is who they chose to play the Sentry, bro. This is who the MCU chose to play the Sentry. How this make sense, my guy? How? It's like they never learn. You don't get the right person. It doesn't even fit. I think this dude is white. He blonde, bro. But anyways, it's a shocking news for the MCU because Steven Yeun exited out of the role as the Sentry. Hmm. Now, MCU is officially losing another new cast member as the Thunderbolts movie will not feature Steven Yeun. Sorry, if I'm not pronouncing the name, I apologize. As Sentry. You don't say. The Thunderbolt movie undergoes a major casting change as Steven Young exits the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The former Walking Dead actor was reportedly playing Sentry, one of the most powerful comics characters. He's Superman, bro, in the MCU. Leave it like that. With Sentry essentially being the MCU's response to Superman. What I tell y'all, Thunderbolts was staging a massive challenge for the members of the titular team. While the Thunderbolts movie has yet to start filming, they still doing that? <laughs> Marvel Studios is facing the, its latest cast shakeup, according to Hollywood Reporter. Hey, we always, we always trust the Hollywood Reporter. Shout out to them, man. Yoon is exiting Thunderbolts at the time of this story publication. Yoon and Marvel Studios have yet to make an official statement on his departure. You know, I'm going to be honest, man. I think the brother knows that the MCU is dying. Now... I don't know what y'all are talking about. I, I do think well, the age of the superhero genre is dead. This is the truth. Okay, what, what we have right now is the boys. Now, the reason why the boys is working is because it's not your typical superhero film where we already know the ending. The boys, you can't really predict the ending. That's what's so cool about it. And it's more realistic. So people are going for a more rated R superhero films than the, the jokey, lighthearted, a little bit dark hearted but still fake MCU and DC brand that we call the universe okay so I think he knows he knows he's aware of the situation I mean literally Aquaman flopped the Marvels flopped I'm not saying that Aquaman was a good film I would never watch that film again it was terrible but the interest didn't even spark anybody bro it literally did not I don't know how James Gunn is going to resurrect the, the DC uh, U characters. And you know, you guys know what's funny. So I've been reading the comics, okay? Now, yeah, I've been reading the comics this Christmas and New Year's Eve because I ain't got nothing to do. So I was reading comics. I was reading Injustice, the storyline. And the comics year one to five is amazing. I kid you not, bro. I was like thinking, why can't we have this in the live action? This is a very interesting storyline. And you know, I do believe that Superman, them trying to make Superman a hero doesn't really work for the modern day audience because he's just not realistic. So when when they made him in Injustice, in Injustice the storyline as a villain, it made more sense because to Superman, he's not a villain. He's trying to, you know, do what's right, right? But it, 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 he's literally taking freedom from the the people of earth that's basically what he's not seeing clearly and that's a very great storyline but if you have superman just your happy happy save the day yada yada people don't have interest in that we want to see more so that's that's my take on you know why the dc is failing bro i'm telling you all the truth in terms of marvel they don't have great villains what is marvel's greatest villain you literally have two characters in the mcu that are very powerful i'm talking about the marvels and that butthole uh, 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 character from the 
invasion, secret invasion. I don't remember her name and I don't care. This is the most two female, I'm sorry. This is the most powerful characters in the MCU. So who can stop them, Thanos? He's dead, bro. No one could, they, they don't have any threat, <laughs> apparently, you know? They're trying to do some stuff with Moon Knight, but it's all bullshit, man. So, Mr. Steven Young, you made a great ch choice. And to be honest, if he had played Steve, uh, the Sentry, he's going to get a lot of backlash. I mean, you don't want to, he doesn't, I don't think he should ruin his reputation because he's voicing Invincible, Mark, right? That's a very great character, too. And, you know, if you play this MCU character and people don't like it, guess what, man? They might not like anything you're in. You know what I mean? So, you made the right choice, man. I applaud the brother. Show him some love. Maybe kiss his ass a little bit. It don't matter. He did the right thing. All right? Anyways, I am shocked by this news, but I think he made the right choice. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Love the game. Bars. Peace.